I made a video very recently where I talk about Steel Curtain and I give my thoughts on the ride and how it could potentially be a real game changer for the amusement industry in terms of coaster manufacturers having to sort of think outside the boundaries of what they've typically done in the past to fit in with the current climate. I touched on that a little bit in that video and I wanted to make this video because I failed to mention in that video whatsoever Max Force which is another ride that's opening in 2019 that I think looks absolutely incredible. I don't think it's getting enough recognition for what it could possibly do. So I want to sort of give my thoughts on that today in this video. Let's break this down and see what we have here. Max Force starts off by going out into the launch track here. We hit the launch, it goes up into this tiny little airtime pop, and then we hit this double inversion touted as the world's tallest double inversion. We hit this awesome looking bank turn, go through the fastest inversion in the world, that zero G roll, and then we hit these two inversions at the end, we dive down back into the station. So obviously Max Force is a very short ride, I know a lot of people are complaining about that, saying, oh, you know, it's only half a ride, this and that. I don't think we should be complaining about this a whole lot. This ride looks absolutely amazing, and the pacing is going to be great because it's not going to have any way to die down. I mean, this is just going to be such an intense, fast ride through and through. Provided there are no trims, I don't see why there would be. The ride from launch to coming back to the station is about 15 to 17 seconds long. You know, and it manages to throw in quite a few elements during that time. So it's going to have great pacing, lots of great elements, and that acceleration, 78 miles per hour in under two seconds. It has that air compressed launch like rides like Dota Dontpa and Hypersonic XLC had. And these launches are just so great because they just allow the trains to launch at such a great speed in such a short amount of time versus the hydraulic launches or the LSM launches we find on most coasters. SNS has previously explored compressed air launch coasters with rides like I mentioned before Dota Dumpa and Hypersonic XLC which operated from 2000 to 2007 at King's Dominion. Those were the types of coasters that even the most hardened of coaster enthusiasts would be intimidated by because they were just so intense so intense i mean that launch that you get on those rides is unlike anything else in the world dota don't play you reach 112 miles per hour one of the fastest coasters in the world and you hit that speed in two seconds it is absolutely incredible it might be like a little under three seconds or something like that but it's really fast so the acceleration with these air compressed launches are phenomenal and I think Max Force could be a real turning point along with Steel Curtain for the amusement industry in 2019. SNS hasn't really done a whole lot in terms of coasters in the US recently. In fact, SNS does not currently have any operating elite coasters in the US. I believe Steel Curtain and Max Force really have a lot of potential to change that. They're two really incredible looking rides, both very different, but both offering very high thrills, very unique rides. Personally, I think Max Force is going to be one of the top rides of 2019. I honestly believe that along with Steel Curtain, these might be the two best rides of 2019. I think Copperhead Strike has a chance to be in the top two and beat one of those out, but these rides just look so incredible. Six Flags likes to brag about Max Force having the world's tallest double inversion with this ride, and it's going to have that weird looking double inversion right after the launch. It's going to be 175 feet in the air and flips you upside down twice, which it's the record for the sake of being a record. It feels like, you know, they wanted it to be the world's tallest inversion, but Steel Curtain has the world's tallest inversion, so, you know, they had to say that it's the world's tallest double inversion, and, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's a record. It's a way to market the ride for them. But the ride's pacing, Max Force 
is going to have some incredible pacing because you hit the launch that super fast air compressed launch go up a little airtime bump and then you hit this massive double inversion which looks pretty good but then i think the ride gets really great after that when you drop down you hit the bank turn to the right and then you go through that zero g roll which is being marketed as the world's fastest inversion. You're going to roll through that at 60 miles per hour. I know a lot of people have sort of made fun of that record, but I actually think that one is really cool sounding, honestly. I mean, going through a zero G roll at 60 miles per hour, I feel like that's going to be pretty forceful and possibly the best moment on the ride. And then after that, you go up into, I don't even know what to call the element, but it flips you upside down then rolls back around, then you hit like a dive loop type thing to go back down into the station. So yeah, it's a really short ride, but it packs in five inversions within 15 seconds. And I think those stats just kind of support how extreme this ride is going to be. Such a short ride time, so many inversions, it's going to fly through this course. I think the name is all right. Very Six Flag sounding, I guess, but you know, it doesn't impact the ride at all. It has a pretty cool logo. I think the ride itself looks really cool. It's very quirky looking, just like Steel Curtain is. It has a very quirky look, and it's so odd, but it looks awesome. And I think this is going to be a true standout ride for Six Flags Great America. I've heard people talk about Six Flags Great America's lineup before, saying that they're lacking that one truly standout coaster. They have these great rides like Goliath and the Batman the Ride Clone, things like that. But a lot of people seem to think they're missing that true standout ride. And I think this is going to give a lot of people that. So to all the people complaining about the length of this ride, I don't really see how you can complain. I mean, sure, yeah, it would be nice to have a couple more elements. I'll give you that. But the pacing on this is going to be incredible. The capacity is going to be great. Touching on the topic of this ride being short. I'm gonna go off into a little bit of a side tangent here, so bear with me. I gotta say, Goliath, which is at the same park, Six Flags Great America, everybody complains about Goliath. Goliath is an RMC wooden coaster, has the world's longest drop on a wooden coaster, an 85 degree drop. Two awesome inversions. From what I hear, the inversions, especially that zero G stall, are incredible. Has a great looking dive loop, the only dive loop on an RMC to date and it just has great pacing and i think goliath looks truly incredible and a lot of people talk bad about it because it's so short and it is pretty short but you still get a full ride really lots of great elements and uh so many people would love to have a ride like this at their home park i just kind of wanted to put that out there a little bit of a side thing like i said so what are your guys' thoughts on max force opening at six flags great america this year do you think it's going to be a new elite coaster and do you think it's going to be successful i know i expressed a lot of concerns about sns in my video about steel curtain and those also apply here and i feel like max force actually has more potential to have issues because it's a launch coaster so what do you guys think are you looking forward to riding this do you think it's going to be a top-notch ride when you get to ride it let me know your opinions on this subscribe like comment and all that stuff i upload at least once a week so i'm looking forward to seeing you guys some more stay tuned and thanks for watching this is coaster daddy bye